Peter Lynch is my name. I'm a fisherman here in Holt for 30 years now. So, yeah, all my life since I left school and before that, since I was small. My father fished, I was like my grandfather. I don't know how far back fishing is. We arrive about six, load bait onto the boat, get all things ready, bait chopped up, whatever, set up all the equipment in the wheelhouse. And then whatever, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, we leave the harbour then. It's a one-man show. I own the boat, I run the boat, I have two crewmen. Keeping the boat running, you know? Just, I suppose, that's the challenge. Currently at present, a national maritime security strategy is being developed for Ireland, which is essential for providing security to the state and security to wider uh, European nations. Our primary role is to defend Ireland, protect Ireland and its citizens. We've just under 20% of the total EU waters. That is a challenge for us. And certainly the 295 platform and system brings a whole new range of capabilities to us. I grew up not far from here. My hometown is Clondalkin beside the airbase here. So I always grew up watching the Air Corps aircraft flying around. So it was always my ambition to join the Air Corps. Our main mission is fisheries protection and fisheries monitoring. So our task in 101 Squadron is to ensure what they call a level playing field across our EEZ. And our job is to conduct aerial surveillance and support of the Naval Service to ensure that all the vessels in our area EU vessels and then non-EU vessels, they're all um, conforming to the same set of rules. Anything that goes towards uh, maintaining a, a safe and secure economic zone for Ireland falls on us. From an operational perspective, it's a massive difference then between the CN-235 and the 295. The jump in, in computational technology is massive and it just increased the value of our unit and the organisation to the state. When we're positioning into an area, we have a really good informed picture of what's out there and that might dictate a change to our plan. One of the interesting items we have on board now is the LiDAR. And it's, it's a game changer for us in terms of, you know, if it's coastal mapping, we have the sea pollution detection system, another IR sensor, which is a backup, which helps us with, with that job with the Coast Guard as well. So we're seeing more at sea now than we have ever seen before in, in, in different ways. The aircraft basically takes in an awful lot of data between all of its sensors. So we have various uses and various customers for all that data. Our primary one is the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority and the Naval Service. We will partner with the Air Corps to do the offshore work. It's a relationship that is hugely beneficial to the Sea Fisheries Protection Authority. They're able to successfully monitor potential illegal, um, unregulated and undocumented uh, fishing. Um, off the Irish coast. They assist in vessel identification, so wide range in what they provide for us, but it, as I say, it's invaluable. John Lynch is my name, and I've um, been involved in fishing all my life. I fished for almost 40 years, full time, and Previously, as a boy with my father, fished in summer times and, and things like that. Fishing has kind of lost its influence on Holt now. The number of vessels has gone down. My brother used to fish on this boat with us, you know, and then he moved on. He made a great move. He bought his own boat. He is now working with the um, lobster pots and well pots, you know, for all, all uh, shellfish. It's, it's probably a nice life, you know, because you, um, unlike fishing on these type of vessels where you can go away for a couple of weeks or more, um, from home on those vessels, most times you're home every night. The inshore fishery, anything up to 12 miles, they're very, very important for local communities. The potential that illegal fishing, the impact it can have on local economies is huge. The crew will arrive up to the unit here in this hangar um, and we'll conduct a brief together. So the flight crew will brief weather conditions and confirm what patrol zone we're going to.
We set up the system on the ground, we make sure everything is operating correctly, and then we take off. We're constantly gathering information. And then when we descend into the patrol area, we'll typically descend to 5,000 feet and start looking at basically what's around within range in our area. With all the capabilities on board the aircraft, we can reroll very quickly, even in the air, and we can perform different tasks. So we can switch from a security mission to a search and rescue top cover mission um, whilst in the air. There's no uh, need to return to base or anything like that. For sightings of vessels off our further inspection, we'll descend to maybe a thousand feet, or if needs be, we can go lower. And that's when we're looking for targeted or really specific information on a vessel. So that's where we can see activity on deck, identifying features on the vessel, equipment in use, communication equipment in the case of uh, military vessels. And then all that information is incorporated into the mission equipment. We're looking forward to developing into an Air Force. However, we have to maintain our capabilities that we're doing at the moment. We're looking to expand. We have new platforms, capabilities coming on stream. We, we really are trying our best with, you know, relatively small resources here. But it's important for us that whatever we operate and however we do it, that we get the absolute most out of each platform. And certainly with the 295, we are developing that capability now. I see the future for the 295 only enhancing the state security as we go forward um, to be involved in the process and to uh, conduct the operations we do on a daily basis gives me an enormous sense of satisfaction. For me, it's, I suppose it's a realisation of a dream from looking up, stopping in the middle of a game of football to see the jets, the airplanes flying overhead during the summertime. And it's just nice that, you know, Maybe 15, 20 years later, I was flying 235 and now I'm in the position to manage the 295 projects. It's a good feeling.